Hey there! I have been trying out a couple different kinds of weekly layouts over the past couple of months now um, and I wanted to kind of go through today and show you sort of the transition between them and my thought process behind them. Um, when you're like bullet journaling in a standard bullet journal, um, it's super easy to just switch up your weekly layout for the next week. Um, but I'm here in the rings and one of the drawbacks, which is not super inconvenient at all because you can just rip it out and start over if you want to, but I kind of am enjoying having a weekly section. This whole second tab is just all of my weeklies. I don't keep all of these in there. Um, as you can see, it's really full. Um, I just stuck these in for today's video, but I keep just weeklies in this section. And so I do them back to back. Um, and so I kind of have to plan in advance what my weekly is going to look like because I don't want to do this every other week and have, you know, blank spreads in between. So I just sort of tend to go with the flow a little bit and then just switch it up as I'm feeling. So, you know, that's not necessarily, um, a requirement of using a ring planner, but the way that I'm doing it, that's kind of where I am. So that be, could be considered like a drawback to the ring planner system, but I don't mind. It's kind of a challenge and I do love a challenge as you probably know. All right. So uh, I just kind of wanted to show you the different peanuts planner coat inserts that I'm using and how I'm using them. So to begin with, this is like half of a week. Um, but this insert is DR073 here. Um, and it's a weekly habit tracker. It's like a whole page weekly habit tracker. What I use it for though is the Alistair method. Uh, and this is the way I do my to-do lists and there's a video about it up here. Um, you can use it for a bunch of different stuff, but in, I like to use it for my weeklies so I can assign tasks to a specific date. So I have that whole page here. You can see they're back to back. So alternating, you have, you know, the Alistair's on the right and on the left. This insert here, this is DR091, is pretty cool. This was like the first weekly I got from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, I like how much you can fit on this insert all at once. It does have its own little tracker. Um, in this case, I went ahead, you can always, fun you know, pro tip if you have a tracker you don't need, you can fill out the dates and make it a little miniature calendar. So as you see here, I highlighted the first week of February. Um, and then this section here could be for maybe your priorities or, you know, a list of things that happened or whatever. Um, in this case, I guess nothing happened that I wanted to fill out. So that's blank, but it's there. Um, and then these boxes I will sometimes use for events and sometimes use for meal planning. And then this is a general list of tasks. Um, and I find that when I have an Alistair weekly, and a normal task list. I'll use this for projects and this for tasks, if that makes sense. So I was using this setup for a little bit. See, so same thing here. Um, just, you know, opposite pages. And again, just having a little bit of fun. See here, we've got like, I put some milestones and then continued to use this for the little monthly. Like here's focus things I wanted to work on like every day. Um, this is, like I said, milestones, uh, here, yeah, this is what Agnes did, like, every day of the week, um, yeah, because there's five lines here, so I did, you know, every day of the, the work week, and then here I actually used it as a habit tracker for, like, habits, and then this is for tasks. Then what happened was I got some stamps. And I really wanted to use them with this insert. So I went ahead and I just jumped ahead. Uh, so I left a blank spread and then I jumped ahead to a different insert. So, um, cause like I couldn't, I still had this one to use and I wanted to have the Alistair. So we've got here weekly tasks. Um, in this case, I highlighted things that needed to be done like more than once, like sort of projects that I was working on. This insert is a freebie from the Peanuts Planner Co. Facebook group. And it's, uh, I like that it's got a smaller grid. I think it's kind of nice. Um, and 
yeah, basically I, I wanted to go for bigger boxes here. Like these obviously are bigger than these. Because uh, I wanted to try out using these little stamps that I got from Starving Artist Stamps on Etsy. Um, and to sort of, you know, focus on cleaning. I was really trying to focus on tidying and decluttering for a couple weeks there. Then here, same thing. I did a uh, plan with me for this one. I've got, let's see, events were highlighted. I had some meals written here. Um, these are things that I was working on decluttering the office. And then again, I highlighted projects. So we stuck with this for just those two weeks. And then I decided I wanted to try a different, uh, a different insert. So this is the one that I had seen all over Instagram, DR144. It's relatively new. Um, on this side, you've got like a blank space up here that you can use for decorations or lists or whatever. And then you've got this big, like a longer tracker than usual. So I thought it might be big enough for my Alistair tasks um, on weeks that I didn't have like a bunch of little things to do. And then this is similar to, to this one. It just doesn't have the column on the right. Um, but the way I kind of use them, it's similar anyway. So this, this is what the layout looks like, but there's that transition week, right? Um, where I didn't have this side yet. I still had this one. So this, like I said, is similar enough to this one that I just kind of paired them together for that one week of transition. Um, oh, I really liked this, by the way. This is, uh, this washi tape is actually practical. Um, it looks... It sort of denoted, uh, I believe, this strip was my sister visiting, and this strip was us going out of town. So it just kind of denoted that, but it was also decorative. That was cool. Then we tried out this uh, insert, and I really did enjoy this insert. I liked it. It was going really great for me. So lots of, you know, room for stickers or for washi tape or for whatever. Um, tasks here usually enough and then I put like focus stuff up here so I did a couple plan with me's I know this one was a plan with me this is a week that I didn't get the washi out in time so it's like super bare bones and then this is holy week I know this one I posted on my Instagram this also is practical washi um I want to say this was this was my sister again my parents and that might have been my other sister but she didn't end up coming and then, yeah, same, same. This is uh, meals on this side, meals and chores, it looks like. So I was happy with, with this, you know? I was able to put like the projects I wanted to do up top and then tasks at the bottom and then events and meals, a little bit of decoration. I did a plan with me for this one also. And then I got to this week and I planned it all out. I had a lot of fun using these stickers that came with my Twin 16 sampler um, and you know, the ones that I'd ordered, the grab bag and all that. Um, I liked the color scheme. Also notice, did you notice I skipped a day? What, right? Okay, so we've got Sunday the 12th and then I covered up all the days and replaced it with this date or this day of the week washi that I got. Skip straight to Tuesday the 14th. Did I? Yeah. Um, so there's no Monday on these weeklies, but that's because I had a three, two three day weekends in a row. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and split them this way so that my week was Tuesday through Monday. Um, because a lot of times with the three day weekend, if you have a Monday at the end of your weekend, like it, it feels weird to have it on the next weekly spread because it's still part of your weekend. So great, right? But have you also noticed the very subtle thing that I didn't notice until it was all completely done? Yeah, probably not, me neither. But this <laughs> spread here, that's not the same one. It's not the one that goes with this. I didn't realize because I had a few of them printed out and stuck in here. I didn't realize I'd run out and I had, for some reason, this inserts, the freebie one, still in here in the back. And so I fill it all, it's great. And then I flip here and I realize, 
oh no, I don't have my DR144 anymore. Oh no, what am I gonna do? So I still am trying to get back to that, but kind of in the intermediate, I'm trying out some other styles while I work on transitioning back like I did before. So this is the second three day weekend week of Memorial Day. Um, I had a lot of fun with the decoration here. I got you into some washi. I put the little um, rain stickers as it was raining because I got a whole sheet of them in the crab bag and it barely ever rains here. So I figure use them while you can. Um, so on this side, I have DR 180, uh, 081. And I'll show you what that looks like on the other side. Um, Cause this was a, a two, a week on two pages. That's the thing, right? So this is a week on one page, and so it's the same front and back. But then when you have a week on two pages, then you don't have that alternating. Um, but you also have something different on the back. So anyway, I really liked this spread with all the black and white stuff. Uh, these were from these stickers. The clear ones are from my Happy Planner sticker book that I got as a gift. You can see I covered up the days of the week again, so I have Tuesday through Monday. And then these boxes were like events and these boxes were meals. And then I just have a to-do list because um, I was using dailies and it's fine. And then I also had like some specific to-do lists here. So chores I wanted to do every day. And this is stuff for Wiz, for, yeah, for Wiz U for my Hogwarts. So I liked this, but the problem is I'm not super excited and thrilled about what's on the other side. I got this insert, DR081. Um, months and months ago. It was around the time that we were nap training the baby. We had transitioned her to the crib, you know, out of our room and into the crib. And we were working on naps in the crib and working on consolidating naps. And I was just trying to track like how many naps I could expect per day. And so basically I thought this insert would be perfect for tracking how much she's sleeping, how many naps she's taking. And I wanted to see scientifically if there was a pattern to them. So if I could look at this and go, oh, she naps at nine and at one, then it'd be like, great, I'll just put that on a schedule. Um, the conclusion of that study was that she did not have a schedule, but I did figure out that she got sleepy two hours after she had last woken up and then would nap from like an hour to two hours. So that's the schedule that she's pretty much been on since. But since I figured that out, it stopped being like effective for me <laughs> to track that um, because I'm only with her for her naps two days out of the week anyway. And I don't want to keep asking people when she's napping for something that's not important anymore. But this is the weekly I've been in last week. Um, I don't need to track her naps. As you see, my work schedule is pretty consistent, so it's not like I need to look at my week and go and like visualize it that way. Um, you'll see here, instead of using like a pen, I went ahead and I used washi tape, and that washi tape is just slightly narrower than the column, which, eh, whatever. I went ahead and picked a few different colors, and so the purple here was work. The blue was um, like a places I needed to be and pink was travel because like on Wednesday Thursday I had to pick up the baby from the babysitter so I needed to make sure that I, I don't know that that was there so you know that's what I used it for I figured I had to use it for something right um you'll see also I have Monday covered up because that was Memorial Day so it was a shorter week because I'm back to my Monday through Sunday but this one was just Tuesday through Sunday so there's nothing in the Monday column here um Again, I didn't need the tracker on this side because I've got the full page Alistair Weekly uh, on this side. So I, again, I used it as a little monthly overview and then I just have this box as like a few things, projects that I needed to work on as well as this one up here. And then down here I put a quote. Um, I generally hate quotes. They seem ridiculous to me, like especially the ones that are supposed to be inspirational. It just seems like it's trying too hard. It seems disingenuous. It feels that way to me. I know a lot of people get a lot of benefit out of seeing a quote on their pages and they think it's a great way to fill space and I agree that it is and I really am glad for people who find them inspirational. 
for me, generally, I only like adding quotes to my pages if they are snarky. Bonus points, pretty much exclusively, they are either, they might be Giants lyrics or quotes from The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, so this actually is a, they might be Giants lyric. I just kind of Googled like favorite, they might be Giants lyrics. And um, this one popped up and I was like, wow, that not only is, you know, it makes me, it puts a song stuck in my head, um, but it also like actually does mean something to me to where I am right now. I just feel like that quote is something that it's good to keep in mind anyway. So in a roundabout way, I did end up coming up with an inspirational quote, but then I, uh, I ruined it later by on some of my dailies. I, I took them out, but I put uh, the quote hats off to the new age hairstyle made of bones hats off to the use of hats as megaphones on alternating uh, dailies just because that's silly and it's from the same song. So tangent aside, you'll see here, I did not want to keep using this. If I had gone with this, uh, this side again, uh, I would have ended up with another week of all of this time tracking. And I didn't want to do that. I also didn't have the time because we were out of town for, you see a lot of this weekend. I didn't have the time to sit down and print stuff out back to back or whatever to make new inserts. So I just wanted to use whatever I already had printed out. So I have um, this weekly Alistair again. I'll take this bookmark out so you can see what I'm in this week. Um, it looks pretty sparse over here just because I don't really have, we don't have any weekend plans, so I'm leaving it blank until we find out what we're doing. Um, but yeah, so I've got the Alistair Weekly in here. I'm back in the freebie on this side while I decide what to do. Um, I would, like I said, like, I, I would like to go back to this layout here because I, I like this, but I also am kind of torn because I also really like this. I like having different spaces for different things. I don't know if this is practical every single week of my life, but I do like it right now. And I'm wondering if it would make sense for me to have this on one side and this on the other side. And if so, how to do that? Um, Cause it is, it is a little bit tricky and I think I would have to waste a little bit of paper to do that because of the way that the, weeks on two pages work out. Fortunately, it's already fine that this is a right-hand page and this is a left-hand page. Um, and I believe that means that they just, they do print back to back, but I have to double check whether, um, whether on one side of the page you get this and this, or whether it's just this on one side. Because if that's the case, if it's only one side on one side, then that's fine. And I just print this on one side of the page and this on the other. So I might try that, but in any case, next week I'm already gonna have to use this. So it may end up looking a lot like this Memorial Day week, um, but we'll see. Anyway, I maybe I'll uh, I'll probably be sharing those weeklies as I go um, on my Instagram page. So you should check that out. It's at Ganchi underscore, no MH, just Ganchi underscore over on Instagram. Um, I also, yeah, I just generally post a lot of weekly stuff there or anything that's on my mind. So there you go. Uh, I listed, like I said, all the, uh, the inserts where you can find them. So if you want a specific one, go back to where I talked about it in the video and you'll see it there. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video next weekend. And you'll see that that one, did I write it down? No, I didn't. I didn't write down what it is on my weekly, so you're just going to have to wait and see. It'll be Sunday, so subscribe. Bye!